Hello and welcome to JTech and Grow. In this lab, we are to configure a radius solution in this lab. In this lab, your task is to add in the necessary server role and role service or services to allow COP NPS to be a radius server. This server will not respond to remote access client requests. Do not add any unnecessary role services. Please, if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and do well to check other test out videos and other IT related content on this channel. Thank you. So let's perform task one. Add the necessary roles and role services to allow COP NPS to be a radio server. So we go to, we are on COP NPS. We go to add roles and services or add roles and features rather. Next, it's a role based or feature based installation. Next. We're on the right network, next. And here we are. So we are supposed to add a remote access, add feature. And the next role should be network policy and access services I hope I got that right okay let's see next 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 we have to enable routing next 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 there won't be any need to restart the computer install okay i think that should be it for the first task the next one is to identify the following servers in nps as radius clients so we've been given all the requirements to configure or to add the new client radius clients we go to tools and network policy server you expand radius clients and servers on radius clients right click and new the name I will just do more of copy and pasting I'll be copying and pasting to save time address you can type out the address as well it's always good to verify resolve and okay and the next thing is to Put in filling the sec uh, shared secret again you can type it out the vendor is um, by default this is the, the vendor that's there you can check it out on the advanced tab so by default it's the radios standard click OK and we have to create the second one next new paste copy and paste shared secret J51 and J30% and ok 
Okay. The next thing we have to do now is to configure a network policy to allow members of the sales team to connect using the following settings. Use sales as the network access policy name. You go to policies, network policies. Just right click on network policies and go to new. Policy name is sales. And set the type of network access server as remote access server. Net type of network access server. Remote access server. <coughs> Excuse me. Set an add member. Set an add membership in the sales user group condition. You go to next condition add. Add membership. We just we have to choose the the user groups condition specify that the connecting user must belong to one of the selected groups. So we go with this user groups add add group that will be the sales let's check the name okay and we we'll go to next we should grant access next for authentication accept only a smart card or other certificate be sure to disallow all other authentication methods so let's add the smart card that is the first one that's selected by default and we have to deny all these other ones and next 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 and finish so we've added the policy we've added the network policy and that should be it for the third task and the last thing we have to do is to configure routing and remote access on branch one on branch via uh, vpn one and cop vpn one excuse me and cop vpn one to use radios authentication and accounting using the following settings so we've been given all the parameters so from here we go straight to sites so we can access the branch vpn1 and cop vpn1 so you can start with any of them so this is branch vpn1 you click on that and now we're on the branch vpn1 machine On the branch VPN one machine, we go to tools and routing and remote access. On the server, right click and go to properties. Under properties, go to security, Windows authentication. So the authentication provider should be radios authentication click on configure add the server name will be cop nps <clears throat> shared secret change click on change then you can type out the new shared secret i'll just copy and paste and okay we should maintain we said accept default settings so we don't have to change anything else and okay under windows 
accounting also we have to change this to radius accounting configure all right the name will be called NPS change shared secret Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you've not done so and do it to like the video so YouTube can recommend to others who may be of need. Thank you. And I think we are done with the branch one, with the branch VPN one. Let's click OK. And from here, We'll go next to COP VPN 1. We we'll go to Sites, COP VPN 1, and click. <coughs> Excuse me, please. Go to Tools, Routing and Remote Access. On the server right click and go to properties security tab under windows authentication choose radius authentication configure add the name will be cop vpn or vp excuse me cop nps The shared secret. Again, we have the same shared secret. Okay, okay, okay. Windows accounting, radius accounting. You should select that. Then add seven name, same. Up NPS shared secret change and we have the shared secret here so same like what we did for branch one branch VPN one every other settings remain the same and that should be it and we are done with this lab. Let's check. And that's it. See you in the next video. You can go ahead and score the lab.